Keith Reed, former ESPN senior writer who knows and has worked with Jamal Hill, is with us. Uh, nice to see you. And Clay Travis with Fox Sports Radio and founder of OutkickTheCoverage.com. Uh, gentlemen, good to see both of you. And uh, Clay, to you first, you know, of all the different columnists or, or even magazines in the wake of Charlottesville specifically that, that have called out the president as racist, why... Why do you think he, he, he really took this particular target on ESPN uh, and, and Jamel? Well, I think because ESPN is not in the business of commenting randomly on political related issues. If you look at their history, they established about 18 months ago that they don't believe their people should be involved in non-sports related political controversies. They suspended and then fired Kirk Schilling for saying that he disagreed with the North Carolina transgender bathroom bill. And that had absolutely nothing to do with sports. And they said, look, you can't have this opinion. It's too conservative. We're not going to allow it. I think that's a bad move. I'm a First Amendment absolutist. I believe in only two things completely, the First Amendment and boobs. And so once they made the decision, that they were Wait, not did going you just to say allow a you believe in the First Amendment sports related and commentary, they Wait, couldn't hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to make sure I heard you correctly as a woman anchoring the show. Did you say, what did you just say? You yeah. believe in the First Amendment and BWBS? Boobs. Two things that have only never let me down in this entire country's history, the First Amendment and boobs. So those are the only two things I believe in absolutely in the country. And so I don't think Jamel Hill should be fired. But I do think straight up that once you make the decision that you were going to let Kurt Schilling go, that you have to also make the decision that you're going to let Jamel Hill go. I think that's a bad decision. I think ESPN has made bad decisions that have led to 13 million subscribers bailing on the network. They've made bad decisions that have led to ratings collapsing. Jamel Hill's television show is collapsing. Ratings were down 20% last week over last year. I think that's why she's angry. I think that's why she went after Donald Trump. She's begging for ESPN to fire her so she can work somewhere else. Okay. Okay. Um... Keith, what do you think? I, listen, listen I, I'm, I'm astonished at almost everything I just heard. Um, one, of the, one of the things that, and Jamel's a personal friend, <laughs> not, just, not just a colleague, but a personal friend. One of the things that Jamel's had to deal with her entire career, and many women who I'm friends with in this business and have been friends with in this business for a long time, is sexism, blatant sexism, comments about her appearance, comments about, uh, about her racially, comments about her inability or perceived inability to be able to comment on sports because of because of her gender for so for somebody to come on cnn and to say something like the only thing i believe in in the discussion i'm, about just, something I'm still there something. too and i just want to make sure yeah. i'm hearing I, you correctly b-o-o-z-e or b-o-o-b-s because yeah. as a woman i'm i'm, I'm as in boobs i believe completely in the first amendment and in boobs those are the only two things i believe 100 percent in in this country and by the way Jamel has Why are you sitting here live on CNN? Did you, I mean, did you notice that? He went straight to that. Yeah, you're, you're that, absolutely I, right. I did go, guys, I did go straight to that. Why would you even see that matter. live on national television and with a female host? I say it live on the radio all the time because it's true and that's what I do. Because I like boobs and the First Amendment, which is exactly what I said. Listen, listen, Brooke, I, I, I think that speaks for itself. I, I, I love the First Amendment as, as well. Uh, I also love women, and I and, and, and as you don't love boobs love, too. Who, the one as one who truly, I'm not going to talk about that on on television because it's irrelevant to the topic. It shouldn't be brought up here. Why not? I'm a I'm a supporter of of women in their careers. I'm a supporter, and a staunch supporter of women like Brooke, who I've sh had shared the airways with before, and like Jamel, who is a personal friend of mine for a long time. And to I'm have done. Even, I'm sorry. I'm her done. Anatomy brought up to have anyone's anatomy brought up in this I'm conversation. I'm done. This is done. Completely this is real. conversation over. Yanking mics. Uh, bye. See ya. Um, that was entirely inappropriate, and it just took me. Forgive me, but it took me a second. It's like live television happens, and you think you hear something, but you're not entirely sure, and then you realize it happened. So I apologize for him and that. Um, let's move on uh, as we wait for President Trump to speak live.